Hello, I'm David Azer, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. New data is in about DVR households, and it's not good. A three-year research project by Information Resources Incorporated has found that purchases of new Payset or food package goods brands were about 5% lower in homes that have DVRs. About 20% of all brands in the study lost statistically significant volume in households where viewers can easily zap commercials. The results were the first released under a study agreement with a consortium of 25 marketers. It also found that DVR viewers were far less likely to zap network show promotions than product advertisements. This strongly suggests that the creative appeal of a commercial does make a big difference. On the user-generated content front, Heavy.com is one of a growing number of online publishers pioneering new ways to turn UGC into mainstream ad-supportable content. The video site for 18 to 34-year-olds now methodically sifts through incoming UGC, identifies talented creators, and offers them financial incentives to produce more of the same. Heavy.com CMO Eric Hadley. Because we have so many young users who like to upload video, what we do is we have a, a department that screens that UGC content to say, not only is it not inappropriate, offensive, illegal, but is it right for this young audience? Is it going to be compelling? We put it up. We look at that and say, wow, this, this video was really relevant, really compelling, did a lot of traffic. Let's contact this producer and offer them a couple hundred bucks and say, we have an advertiser who has these objectives. They like these things. They don't like these things. Make some stuff for us. And again, we'll put it back to that same filter. And go back to the advertiser and say, here's some shows we have. They weren't expensive. They're really relevant to your audience. And we continue to have this continuous loop. And it's been a great way to engage our audience in what our site is all about and create content for our advertising partners. And over at the New York International Auto Show, Honda is looking for a few good consumers willing to pay $600 a month to lease its new hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Honda product planning manager Will Walton explains. We're looking for someone who is environmentally uh, aware of what's going on around them, the current uh, gas prices and, and fuel prices going on right now, someone who really wants to uh, impact and, and help uh, develop an infrastructure that can support a vehicle such as the uh, Honda FCX Clarity. Hydrogen is not a readily available uh, fuel source. It's, it's currently under development. Uh, it's starting to spread, but right now it's really focused in the Southern California area. It's least only because we want to make sure that we get this information, this vehicle, this technology out to real world customers. And then after they're finished, we want to analyze and really look at some of this data that we're getting back from customers and really understand where this uh, potential is going. And that's it for this three minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm David Azer at Advertising Age in New York.